Congratulations! You've been accepted to the LSU School of Veterinary Medicine. My name is Dr. Lori Gashin, and I'm the Dean of Students, and I'm also a professor of radiology. I'm taking you on a self-shot iPhone video tour of the entire school, and I really hope you enjoy it. I'm really excited to show you everything about the school. Here are the professional codes of conduct signed by all the veterinary students in our classes. And this is our student affairs team. We're gonna go right over to student affairs and there's Mike Seven. Hi Mike. Well, it's all about the students here. This is where you'll spend a lot of time getting help and we'll be answering your questions. This is our amazing new library. Our school has invested in our students, in their learning, and this library is just one piece to show that. State-of-the-art, comfortable, modern. It's a place where you can come to study, relax, have something to eat or drink, meet with your classmates. We have many conference rooms where a lot of our group educational courses take place, like problem-based learning. Look at the amazing view. There's a lot of light. It's just a really great atmosphere to come between classes, at lunch, and it's open 24-7. These seats are my favorite. Can't you just see yourself sitting here? Relaxing or studying with a great view. Let's look now towards research. We have an amazing Summer Scholars program. You're looking at award-winning posters of our Summer Scholars, which are veterinary students like you are now. First year and second year students engage over the summer with research mentors and produce a poster and present that at our big Phi Zeta research meeting. This is our cafeteria, it's a full service cafeteria, and right across we have a big outdoor amazing courtyard. And this courtyard also has a teaching garden for different types of poisonous plants in the region that you can become familiar with. This is a place where a lot of students come with their instructors to do rounds or even just to eat lunch and hang out together. Anatomy is a big part of the first year. Here are some specimens that Dr. Bergula has created. And here we are in anatomy. Yeah, it is important. You'll be using anatomy for the rest of your career. Oh my goodness, maybe not on giraffes every day. But there is one to show you how big this room is. The big room, all your anatomy courses in the lab will be conducted in this room. Your dissections, working in teams. Now we're at the small animal clinic entrance. This is a, another brand new part of our hospital. We're going to go in and have a look. Oh, there's my reflection. This is the admissions area, and you can see we have a separate cat waiting room. And then the dogs are over here, nice and safe away from the cats. And we're gonna walk around, and there's a whole wall of all the mics. One through six. That's mic six here at the end. Now we're going to go into community practice. Community practice is another brand new area that our school has invested in for you, the students. Community practice is going to look a lot like a private practice that you've worked in, in a veterinary clinic. You have your in-house lab tests, the food area that we just passed by. Let's take a look inside. Here's the exam rooms. 
very typical of what a veterinary practice would look like. And then inside, exam tables. This is where your instructors will be teaching you about everyday life in a veterinary practice. Here we're going to walk right back to the dental area. We have a full dental suite. And there it is with anesthesia. We have dental x-ray and a little ultrasound machine for doing some routine ultrasound scanning. Now we're going to look down the hallway into the exam rooms. This is a comfort room. This is a room where the more difficult conversations can take place with an owner. Love that purple. This is an area where community practice students work on their electronic medical records and the discharge statements for the clients. Oh, there's ophthalmology. Ophthalmology is one of the award-winning notations. Everybody loves Opto. They have fun little eyeball decorations everywhere. One of their exam rooms. And of course, if only dogs could read a chart and tell us what's wrong. We're in the cardiac imaging lab. Oh, I see Dr. Green. I wonder what he's doing. He's looking at an echo. Hi, congratulations. Thanks, Dr. Green. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, some nice artwork throughout the entire school. Beautiful artwork of our surrounding Baton Rouge area and campus. Well, now we're walking down the hallway towards wildlife and exotics and zoo med. This is the zoo med program. It is also very new, recently constructed. I can peek in here and see, oh, they're talking about a case. This is one of the treatment areas, big gloves for those raptors and feather collection. That's pretty cool. Another treatment room. And our avian research program. Just next door is the Purina Nutrition Center, the Eye of the Tiger Nutrition. And you will get to see all the different types of diets and learn about them for cats and dogs and this amazing resource that we have at our school. Oncology. Here we go. Go pink tigers. Let's go see. LSU campus. Okay, this is the chemotherapy treatment room. So all the oncology patients receiving chemotherapy will be examined here. This is the wards where they're kept during the day. And now we're gonna walk down. Oh, go Tigers. We're gonna walk down here now and see it completely brand new radiation oncology unit. Hi Mike Six! And this is where animals are coming for radiation therapy are going to be examined, housed, treated. We're going through the maze. This is the maze taking us back to the linear accelerator, the radiation treatment unit. I know the oncologists also call it the demigorgon from Stranger Things and there it is. This is a stereotactic radiation therapy unit. Works like surgical precision. Hey, Dr. Ryan, we're going into the small animal treatment area. It's one of our award-winning, I tell you, he, run, he wins the teacher of the year every year. He's amazing. This is where you'll be bringing patients back from the examination rooms. 